Israel intensifies attacks in Gaza's conflict enters fifth day, the Israeli military has intensified its assault on Gaza. As Palestinian militants continue to fire rockets into Israel. On the fifth day of hostilities, Israel's army said, air and ground forces were involved in attacks on Friday, but had not entered Gaza. A BBC reporter in Gaza said there was heavy shelling involving gunboats, fighter jets and helicopters. Meanwhile, Jewish, Israeli Arab mobs have been fighting within Israel, prompting its president to warn of civil war defense minister, Benny Gantz, ordered a massive reinforcement of security forces to suppress the internal unrest that has seen more than 400 people arrested. In a statement released early on Friday morning, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the Israeli military operation against Palestinian militants in Gaza would continue for as long as necessary. He said Hamas, the Islamic group that rules Gaza, would pay a heavy price. A Hamas military spokesman said, the group was ready to teach Israel's military harsh lessons. Should it decide to go ahead with a ground incursion, this week's violence in Gaza and Israel is the worst since 2014. It was initially fueled by weeks of Israeli-Palestinian tension in East Jerusalem, which led to clashes at a holy site, revered by both Muslims and Jews. This spiraled into an incessant exchange of Palestinian rocket fire and Israeli airstrikes. Shortly after Mr. Netanyahu's statement, video footage showed explosions lighting up the sky over Gaza City. Rocket barges from Gaza soon, followed with reports of attacks on the Israeli cities of Ashkelon, Ashdod, Beersheba, and you have among other areas hours earlier. Israel's military called up 7,000 army reservists and deployed troops and tanks near its border. With Gaza Israel's military set of ground offensive into Gaza was one option being considered, but a decision had yet to be made.